Sarcophagus from the Old Kingdom. Hmm. Unknown ruler. Here we go. On the front, you can see the tutelary deities Amset and Happy. At a later date, it became traditional to show all four sons of Horus on all four sides of the sarcophagus. Each son signified a cardinal direction. Happy, the north. Amset, the south. Quebec Senuef, the west, and Duamutef, the east. There are actually two of the four sons of Horus on the front side of the sarcophagus. A man and a monkey. There we go. He's up there, Robert. I know that. That may be. Go into the guard room and open the gates. Tell the director. Zelna, don't do it. It's too dangerous. You can't stop me. Not anymore. Two hundred steps at least. And a ladder. I'm too old for this. Left over from the war, if I had to guess. And why not? So high above the city is the perfect place for a secret radio installation. Must be unbearably hot up here in the summer, but it's bearable at the moment. I'd better leave it off. It'd probably just stir up dust. The chair is the only object that's not covered with dust. It seems like someone sat on it recently. Handcuffs. Not what I expected. Was someone interrogated here? Huh? Huh? The Raven, if I'm not mistaken. Why don't you step into the light? Mr. Inch. Amazing. Truly amazing. I thought young Legrand would be my most dangerous opponent, but it seems I should have had more respect for age. And the bomb on the train? Did you want to kill us all? I knew that Legrand would be hot on my heels after the heist in London. He's a dangerous man, Mr. Zellner. He almost caught me once. Is that a reason to resort to murder? It wasn't my only reason. An eye for an eye, Constable Zellner. What about the murder of the Baroness? Was that also your doing? The death of the Baroness was never part of the plan. Dr. Gebhardt had a score to settle with her and got in my way. You didn't care about the key to the safe? I never wanted to steal the eye out of the safe. I always intended to strike here, in the museum. What about Gebhardt's confession? A nice idea, don't you think? It keeps the inspector out of my hair, for a few more hours at least until everything collapses like a house of cards. Why did you want to steal the second eye here? The eye was in the bank in Zurich for a long time, impossible to get at. Then the safe on the ship in Legrand's cabin, too complicated. I heard about the secret basement and found out how the security system worked. I would have preferred to save my performance for the gala this evening, but, well, events demanded a change of schedule. 
Not least because of you, my nosy friend. How did you do it? How did you plant the message on the safe in the train? How did you know that Gebhardt killed the Baroness? And the demolition charge below the treasure chamber? How... how did you manage it all? Even if your arm isn't lame. Oh, it is, believe me. I needed help, it's true. A messenger boy to replace my arms and legs. A messenger boy? Ah, Adil. This could be interesting. He's quite talented, but unreliable. He has a mind of his own, his own plans. Don't you, Adil? I never wanted blood to be shed, but it's time to make an exception. Hmm. He only forgot one thing. I keep things firmly in hand. Always. End of story. I told you not to get off. What if the train had gone without you? So, you're taking a job as a ship's doctor. I am excited, but nervous, too. <laughs> I'm not exactly a champion swimmer. <laughs> if you wind up in the water on board a ship, something's gone terribly wrong. that in the museum. <clears throat> that didn't quite go according to plan, did it? And I hate it when things don't go according to plan. <clears throat> you nearly killed them. You let them catch you. Uh, it, it wasn't my fault. Scotland Yard was there. If I thought it was your fault, you'd already be bobbing in the River Thames with a bullet in your head. Someone tipped them off. I don't know who, but I'm going to find out. Where is the jewel? Ah, marvelous. But it's just half the set, and stealing the second eye will be more difficult than I'd anticipated. Why are we meeting here and not in Venice like we planned? London drew more attention than planned. They put Legrand on the case. Nicholas Legrand? He's searching the train. Should, shouldn't we postpone the plan under these circumstances? On the contrary, I gave him an anonymous tip. A tip? I told him that the train will be robbed. You don't seriously suggest that we steal the jewel right under Legrand's nose? Of course, because I'm an idiot. Our best bet is still Cairo. Everything is prepared. Mr. X will provide us with everything we need. As planned, I'll go to Venice together with the Baroness and board the ship there. You'll do the same, but as surreptitiously as possible. All right. And under no circumstances can anyone be permitted to discover our relationship. Understood. And the rest of the plan is as before? We just have to get on board the ship. Then I'll get in the car, and we'll meet in Venice. No, Legrand necessitates a change of plan. You'll go by train as well, and place this envelope on the safe as soon as the train halts in the tunnel. I'll cause a blackout so that you can sneak past the guard. You won't believe who's guarding the safe. That blasted Bobby from London. If you have any trouble, cave his skull in. And Legrand? 
You take care of the letter, I'll take care of everything else. The most important thing is that no one recognizes you on the train. And that I don't get caught. What's the purpose of the letter? That's not your concern. I'd just like to know whether I'm risking my life for some game of yours, or whether it's worth it. Any one of my games would be worth your life. You just do what I tell you. Stick the letter on the door of the safe, or leave it on top of it. I don't care. But the letter has to be there as soon as Legrand shows up after the blackout to make sure everything is in order. Understood? Yes. What? Yes, understood. Hasn't the Baroness grown suspicious? She's wrapped up in a veil of alcohol, arrogance, and disinterest. Only flattery, gossip, and Belgian chocolate can penetrate it. Ideal conditions. I'll be glad to be rid of that old hag. She's my ticket to the most important museums in Europe. But these have been the longest six months of my life. How are the injured guards doing? How the devil should I know? You didn't need to do that. What? Save your bacon? I'd have made it out on my own. Oh, yes. The poor security guard. It really wasn't necessary. I'm such a naughty boy. I just don't want anyone to get hurt. Oh, please, please, don't be angry with me. I won't do it again. I don't know. We have the first eye, and we only just escaped. Tell me you're not suggesting that we should be satisfied with that. One eye alone is nothing more than an expensive bauble. But both eyes together are a legend. My greatest triumph. Shouldn't I put the eye somewhere for safekeeping? Just in case Legrand searches our things. I'll hide the jewel in the Baroness's luggage. I already know where. Legrand won't dare search her belongings. And even then, he'll never be able to open the secret compartment. Okay, so we'll see each other in Venice. And not sooner. Here, take your travel documents. We may not have an opportunity to meet in Venice. Okay, fine. Huh, that's the first change of plan so far. Uh, whatever. Looks like I'll be going to Venice by train.